Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Corsair TX850W power supply. What's included is a user's manual, case badge, cable ties, four screws for mounting the power supply in the case, a power cord, and the power supply. The Corsair TX line of power supplies are currently available in three wattages, 650, 750, and 850. I'll be reviewing the 850 watt model, which is more than enough power even for high-end computer systems. Now, how is this wattage determined? Well, to understand that, you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use and there are essentially two different rails the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 180 watts and the 12 volt is 840 watts which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. The 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards and so on, while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, optical drives, fans, CPU video cards, etc. Also, some might be interested to know the peak amps on each rail. Well, the 3.3 volt and the 5 volt rails are both 30 amps each, and there's a single plus 12 volt rail, and that's 70 amps. There are a couple of important things to remember when selecting a power supply. The first is wattage. Determine how much wattage you are going to require by the amount of hardware you will be installing. Generally speaking, a medium to high-end gaming rig will require a 500 to 700 watt power supply. For a hardcore system, select a power supply. That's around 800 watts. If, however, you are building an extreme gaming rig with a top of the line multiple video card setup with lots of other hardware, select a power supply that's 1000 watts or greater. Second, it should be at or above 80% efficient at typical load. The efficiency of this power supply is rated above 80% at all loads. Third, it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives over voltage, under voltage, and other protections. This power supply meets all current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend choosing a power supply that has APFC. APFC, or Active Power Factor Correction, is something that also assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. Thankfully, this power supply has APFC. Fifth, there are three main certifications, AD+, NVIDIA SLI and ATI Crossfire. Many of today's high-end power supplies meet one or more of these certifications. This power supply meets the NVIDIA SLI certification. Sixth, choose a power supply that has Japanese capacitors. This ensures a much more reliable product than a power supply with low-grade capacitors. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. Also consider a power supply that has a modular design because it reduces the cable mess inside the case. Let's have a closer look at this power supply. Even though this is a high wattage power supply, it's relatively short and therefore will fit in most mid-sized tower cases as well as home theater PC and small form factor cases. It has a kind of rough paint finish and the housing is steel. They include a temperature controlled quiet 140 millimeter fan. So the hotter the inside of the power supply gets, the faster the fan spins. The 140 millimeter fan and the honeycomb ventilation ensures maximum cooling. So this power supply should remain cool in almost any environment. Here's the power cord connection and the power switch. This power supply has lots of long sleeve leads, but none are modular. Modular leads are fantastic because you only need to use the ones required for your particular setup. And this reduces the cable mess inside the case and increases airflow. Finally, have a listen to the 140 millimeter fan. If you're in the market for a really good, quality, efficient power supply, you cannot go wrong with really any of the Corsair power supplies as long as you get the right wattage for your application. This power supply is really no different. It performs extremely well, but my only complaint is it's not modular. But this power supply 
is very affordable. So overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.